I mean, the first thing I would say to any new team is don't be afraid to make mistakes, you know, and, and I think that really gets to the practice piece, you know, have a first practice where you just fill up a balloon and let it go and, and just go ahead and get comfortable with that and, and just say, you know, we want to practice, 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 you know, and, and schedule some things to do that. And, but again, don't be afraid to make mistakes. And, and certainly through those practices, you'll figure out really quickly if you have a screwdriver, that's a special screwdriver you need and you don't have it with you that day. And so, um, so I would say for new teams, that's, you know, that's really in the most important thing. Um, I think to have fun, you know, make this a fun thing and, you know, celebrate in, in all kinds of different ways, um, uh, what you're doing and what you're learning and, and how you're doing it. I think it's, um, I think enjoying it while you're learning is, it probably helps the learning more more than other things, but it also just um, makes it a great team learning experience. And so I would say that's the second thing for new teams is, is yes, we're doing serious science. So we're doing really cool engineering, but, you know, just have fun. Especially for new teams, I would highly recommend practicing a lot. We, we are encouraging that as it is but that's really how you're going to become comfortable with using the equipment, uh, fluent with it, and be able to troubleshoot when troubles arise. If you know the equipment inside and out, then you'll be able to solve most of your problems pretty easily. So just practice, practice, practice. <laughs> that is when practicing, start simple, right? Make sure conditions are, are ideal, if you will. If you're outside, make sure it's a sunny day that's comfortable. You want to be able to have your students learn the system and the equipment under comfortable conditions where they can really focus on how the equipment works and what to do and, and get that procedure down. And then as you practice more, you can slowly introduce new elements of challenge. You know, you'll want to practice at night because we're going to be launching radio sons through the night. So start some launches at night and, and do that when the conditions are pretty good too. And then introduce maybe some more adverse weather conditions. Maybe you do it when it's lightly raining outside or snowing even or windy, right? Introduce um, slowly and gradually different elements of complexity or challenge and work with your team to work through those challenges and see what you need. Oh, we need more tarps. We need covers for the equipment in case the rain gets blown underneath the tent onto our laptops, you know, things like that. We need hand warmers. We need, we really need waterproof gloves. Um, we need thick waterproof boots, um, you know, things like that. And these are a lot of these things you're just not going to think of until you're actually in that situation where something's failing.